Badman though. We are out of the house today. We thought we would come to Penacova. It's the first day in a couple of days when it hasn't been raining and we've got some nice blue skies so we thought we'd make the most of it. It's quite nice and warm as well today. We've got Eden with us and we're going to go for a walk along the river, have a coffee and have a nice afternoon. It is Eden's first time in Penacova and we had a bit of a fail. We forgot to store his sling so we are going to have to use her little chair. We normally keep it in the car but because we used it last night when we took Eden for a walk around the village we forgot to put it back in again. <laughs> Jay forgot his jacket in the car so he's just run back to get it so I'm just waiting here for him. Aren't we Story? You waiting for Daddy? Did he forget his coat? Silly Daddy. <laughs> What's that face? <laughs> we are just sitting outside Cafe Turismo. We've ordered a couple of coffees. We chose a bit of a sunny table because it's nice to feel some warmth. It is 16 degrees today, so that is very nice. Eden's laying under my chair. Yeah, our coffees have arrived. Two abatinados, which is just a black coffee and two pastel fajals. Smells really good. <laughs> so good. I've got a little bean. Yes, I have. She's just sat and had her bottle in my arms and you finished it all, didn't you? Really look at you sitting up like a big girl. You are. <laughs> Whee! <laughs> oh, surrender. Hi, Eden. We haven't forgotten about you. Should we go for the walk now? Huge. Quick look at the view story. We're going to go down there and do the walk with Eden. Okay, Eden, time for your walk. Our punishment for not bringing the sling with us is the story has to be carried for a little bit because we've got some steps before we can begin the walk. A little workout for you. It's like 12 kilos of baby and pram here. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I've just noticed the stones here are perfect skimming stones. Look at that. That's got to be a good one for, to skim on the water, right? And this. Nice and flat. Released. So she's going to attempt to skim the rock, but I think the water's a bit too rough. Let's see what happens. No, rubbish. <laughs> one splat. Two splat. Is that two? Okay. Three? Not bad. Okay, let's test the off road ability of this pram buggy. Now that story is growing at a much faster rate. We've been talking more and more about buying a proper pram. They are so expensive. Some of the ones that we've been looking at are over 500 to 1,000 pounds. I don't really want to spend that kind of money on them. I'm pretty sure you can get it second hand, but still, it's pricey. And I wonder if it's just like the baby tax syndrome, or if there's actually a thousand pounds worth of technology in these prams. Whatever we want, it needs to be something that can handle a little bit of off-roading. This floor here is not exactly going through the forest, but it needs a little bit of suspension or something like that. Yes, we definitely need a more all-terrain vehicle <laughs> for story. We were looking at one called the Mountain Swift or something. Mountain Buggy Swift. Mountain Buggy, so that sounds like something that <laughs> we would make good use of. It's got the right title. Yeah. There was a cheaper one called the Brita B-Max as well, but I'm thinking if we're going to use it a lot, we should go for the more expensive one. It was yeah. about £400. Yeah, for something that's going to last for another two or three years until she's walking a lot more, then it's probably worth it. All these new expenses that having a little baby girl bring. 500 pounds on a new pram for story or 500 pounds on a new vlogging camera for us. Yeah. Uh, this thing's about to break. <laughs> yeah, we have been using this camera that we're filming on right now. Hardcore. Yeah, <laughs> and buttons it's, don't work. It zooms in and zooms out on its own. Yeah, but we deal with it and we do what we can. Eden's found a new sniff. I put Eden back on her lead because a dog friend joined us, a Penacova dog, 
who seemed quite interested in her, so I wasn't sure, so I just put her back on her lead to be safe. He's now following us. Where are you heading? Hmm? Are you friendly? It's difficult to tell, isn't it? Your tail's wagging, quite sweet. You do have a nice face, but I'm not sure if I trust you. <laughs> you can sleep through anything, can't you? I've picked up a couple of rocks on this walk. <laughs> this one that I first picked up, I was going to skim it on the water, but I thought it's actually a really nice rock to write on, so I'm keeping it. I'm making story a little box of treasures. <laughs> I don't actually have the box yet, but I've been collecting little treasures and things from around and little memories and things like that. So she's got the shells that I first collected for her in Thailand before we left when I was pregnant with her. So there's gonna be some like pictures of when she first met her grandparents and that kind of stuff. And I thought this rock would be nice. I can write on like story, three months old river walk, <laughs> that kind of thing. So that will be going in her little box of treasures. And I also found this one, which I'm not sure what I'm gonna do with yet. But I thought it looked a bit like a mouse, so I might write a little, draw a little eye on it or something and stick a woolen tail on, it's just a, for fun. <laughs> I did pick up another one that looked like a bean, <laughs> but I threw it back down because it was rather large and I was getting a bit carried away, so I threw the bean rock away. <laughs> We have reached the point where we got to before, giving Eden a water break. I have taken my jacket off, this is actually really warm now, really lovely and sunny. And we're going to continue walking a bit longer, because it's too nice to go back. Look at this baby, so cute. I think it is safe to say we've definitely got an all-terrain baby, <laughs> even if we don't yet have the pram for her. She probably got used to all the bumping around and stuff in the Ford Escort in Thailand <laughs> when I was pregnant with her. Many road trips when she was in the tummy. I was reading the other day because next month we're gonna start her on food. I was reading that babies tend to like things, a lot of things of what you ate when you were pregnant with them. They will prefer over other things that they've never ever had before. So if that's the case, I ate so many green juices when I was pregnant. <laughs> so I am hoping, fingers crossed, Story will love spinach <laughs> and chia seeds and ginger. <laughs> or if we are unlucky, it might go the other way and she might absolutely hate it <laughs> and refuse it. Hopefully that won't happen though. We are turning back now. We've come to a bit of a end of the walk. We're at a road and Story's been sleeping for a little while now. When she wakes up, she's gonna want a bottle. So we'll get back to the car before that happens. Just wondering what this contraption is. Well, I don't think it's anything anymore, but I wonder what it used to be. It's got a big hook at the top. And there's two more of them as well. One that way and one further down here. Like a winch or something on the river. I don't know what it could have been used for. This white house over here on the other side of the river is burning its fire it's got smoke coming out the chimney must be chilly in there <laughs> this house here i don't know how well it comes out on camera but i think it looks like something out of a fairy tale <laughs> there's the other winch thing there's a cool row of trees here that'd make a good wedding photo shoot location it would i imagine in the summer when they're all in bloom that will look stunning like a tree tunnel very pretty Look at this place, that's a lovely property. All those trees behind it, that's stunning. I bet that's a nice peaceful place to live. And we are back. All right, that was a lovely walk and we're heading home now. The weather is lovely. The car thermometer says it's 27 degrees, but I, that can't be right. <laughs> I don't think it's that hot. Windows down, homeward bound. We are home. It's looking very beautiful out here. What are you doing there? <laughs> I'm waiting for something. 
I've got my bone and my donut. Which can only mean one thing, Mum. Dinner. It's not your dinner time yet. You could have a snack. A snack will do nicely. Oh, nice. Bloody hell. Yuck. Maybe later. Why don't you want your freshening stick? It smells like mint. <laughs> Yuck. I don't want my minty stick. Maybe. Maybe I'll eat it. Need to do some quick maintenance in this pram. Give it a wash down, otherwise the wheels will start sticking. I just made Jay and I a green juice, although it's gone a bit of a funny, not quite as green as normal. It's got a bit of a brownie tint to it today. I made a beetroot juice earlier and I just juiced up the ginger in the same juicer and a little bit of beetroot juice came out with it so that's why it's gone a little bit funny colour but I'm sure it still tastes the same. <sighs> Lovely. And I think this little lady's ready for your bottle aren't you? Hey you're not going to get much milk from your fingers. Are you hungry? You found your thumb haven't you? Oh. <laughs> Don't eat your jumper. <laughs> Decided to come and sit outside and give Starry her bottle out here and I'll drink my green juice as well. There we go. We've got a happy baby now. She's had her bottle. Yeah. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> wow. <laughs> that echoed. <laughs> Made you jump, didn't it? <laughs> oh, if that doesn't make you laugh, nothing will. Yeah. <laughs> what on earth is happening over there? What's that dog? Is that a dog pulling a trolley? Or a canoe? <laughs> what? What's he got? What's happening? <laughs> He's got like a bag. What happened? It's madness out here. I came out here for some peace and quiet <laughs> and dogs came out of nowhere and started going mad. It's madness out there, Story. Mm. Did you hear all that commotion? Yeah, there's barky dogs. Yeah, I bet Eden wasn't pleased. Mm. She likes peace and quiet. Isn't that right, Eden? Did you run away? <laughs> I think you did, didn't you? Alright, I think I'm going to go ahead and end the vlog. What do you think, Story? Should we say goodbye? Say bye-bye. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed today. I really enjoyed that little river walk. It was nice. I think Eden enjoyed it too. Hit the thumbs up button for us, please. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so already. And share our videos if you want more people to see them. We do. <laughs> that is all for today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye. You wave bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs>